kind of hard to backtrack and like tell you about our day. We all slept in, had breakfast at the hotel, and then went immediately to practice with the girls. But on our way, well, I just can't even like recap it for you. Just me. I filmed a whole bunch today, but it's really hard to like get on camera as you saw the one time I did get on camera in front of a huge crowd and there's little kids and adults and I don't want to put anyone on the spot um, and I'm talking to adults but I'm also along with the other adults we're counting kids like every 10 minutes not even that every five minutes we're like one two three four five six seven how many did we have in our group like one two three four um, and I don't have all my kids with me every time we're going into a certain store that's Abby's Take it I'll show you that real quick. So we are, Abby bought that. Little uh, strawberry gel covered in chocolate. And this is Ashley's. So let me just give you a quick recap of our day so far. It is 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 4.30. Let me give you a quick synopsis of the day and then I will let you do a little montage style of what we have done so far today. Um, and then I'll fill you in what we're doing tonight. It's super exciting. And it's not going to be that much of a shocker. <laughs> but we met um, this morning. We all went and had breakfast downstairs in the little continental breakfast. But it is definitely not Americanized um, at all. They don't, like, accommodate besides, like, frosted flakes. I had to take a little kid's bowl in order to make a bowl big enough to have cereal in. Yeah. But I had a great food. I had an egg roll and oh, it was good. <laughs> some chicken and things like that. But... We, so we did that and then we met downstairs in the lobby at 10 o'clock with everyone. All the girls were um, in, you'll have seen, you'll see, they were in a certain uniform. So they were all the same, hair pulled back in ponies. Um, and we all walked together over to Odori Park. Um, and that's where the big, huge radio tower is. And they took some photos in front of that. And then they, we ended up finding a, a cute little, little platform area right outside the um, guest area to go up the tower and they practiced there but what was really fun about that and I want you to pay attention in the videos as you're watching that part I don't know how much I was able to capture the little kids um, there were a few different little preschool groups of kids and they all wear these little hats um, so that they can identify the kids as they're taking them out and about which I think is super cute um, but every time a new group of kids came out or around our area they were mesmerized by the cheerleaders. I mean, they were super cute. Some of the little kids would just start to try and like do the cheers and like throwing their arms up and trying to like do the flips and things. Um, and then other people with little kids came out and they were just, um, anyway, we, we joked that we should put a little hat down and, and get some money <laughs> donated to them. But, so they did that. They practiced right there, um, literally underneath the radio tower, which is really cool. And then we kind of, we're all kind of bored watching them, but they didn't practice as long as they intended on practicing because it really wasn't safe to practice on concrete <laughs> the way they needed to practice. And so we ended practice early, kind of divided up. Um, we took a majority of the people with us and we just started walking and shopping and kind of sightseeing, um, mainly shopping and buying, um, you know, things like this, grape juice and Japanese Pringles, and what did Abby buy? These little chocolate little um, treats. Um, Ashley got this. At one point, I could sense that her little hangry was kicking in, and so we pulled into 7-Eleven, which is their favorite store, along with the Family Mart, and she picked up this cute little fruit cup, but this is like Jello. It's like a little gel inside there. So we've got two of these. She had that, and Chelsea got her beloved um, corn dog from 7-Eleven. And then we found a nice little restaurant to eat at in the mall. Do you know what that mall was called? It's just uh, right there in Odori uh, Park, but there's a certain no, 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 it's name for it. Aurora Town. Aurora Town. Um, really fun. No, I was mall. talking about Pole Town. Pole Town. Chica Guy. Well, yeah, so for the Chica guy, I think it's the underground. Yeah, it's an un underground mall, and then it, you come up um, Chica, in I think different it's areas, and we were supposed to meet at, like, an outdoor marketplace. I think I showed it at one point in the beginning of the day, 
Um, we still didn't, haven't made it to there because the kids were all tired and walking around and practicing. Um, so then we went to, to Don Quixote's, which is where we found most of our Don snacks. Don Quixote's? Quixote's. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Um, and then we came back to the hotel. So go and do that really quick. Sure. Go and watch all of that in montage style. And you'll understand it a little bit more. Um, and I didn't pull up my camera in Don Quixote's. Maybe I will another time because the kids are not done shopping at that place. Um, and we will go back to the outdoor marketplace another day. Um, but we are going to go to, well, come back. Come back and I'll tell you where we're going to go tonight for dinner. We had other plans. We were optimistic as parents. Another day. Yes, we were optimistic about three hours ago, two hours ago, before we all laid down and took a nap. And um, the kids have been, you guys, it's so perfect to have them go back and go watch all, the, all of our day and then we'll come back and I'll tell you all this. this whole hall to ourself because when we get back from doing something or in the morning before we're wanting to wake up for the day the kids just come out here to this hall or they go into some of the rooms like some of the rooms like Kay or Abby and her friend it's just like kids in the rooms um, so they like congregate in those rooms um, and other times there's like a little girl that's you know like little sister so they want her by their door and so they just come out here and uh, hang out in the hallway. And it's really cute. So, um, I'm actually wondering if we should do that little Ferris wheel. Do the little Ferris wheel. It was all lit up last night, it was kind of cool. All right, so maybe what I should do um, is not tell you where we're going for dinner, and I'll surprise you. Um, one idea we have for tomorrow at some point in time is to go to that, did you see the big, um, bowling ball, bowling pin. No, someone's was talking about building. it. It's like a game center or something. Yeah, there's a, a bowling alley and an arcade and a karaoke center. And we thought it would be really cute for the girls and just let them go play karaoke and like sing Taylor Swift songs and like... Oh, we should karaoke, that'd be totally cool. I know, I think it'd be fun. And then like a bowling or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then some of the, there's 
three boys, one brother, and then the two boys that are the coach's son. We could actually try to find a karaoke place that's like really authentic Asian. Yeah, like, but we need to make it appropriate for kids too. Yeah, usually they are. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think that. Anyway, so stay tuned and we'll show you where we're going for dinner. It's going to be exciting. It's not. It's <laughs> What happened, Ashley? I let, like, a little kid do my makeup. Did she use your makeup? So is your makeup destroyed? No. Is I, it okay? Yeah. We have to leave in five minutes. Yes, I can. You gave me a makeup wipe, but I'm not leaving my I know. You wipes. You think of a family of five girls so on a we trip. We're running low. We're getting you handed Jason, running. there's no way I came with one tiny used pack of makeup oh, wipes. It's okay. It's yeah, it. Wipe it off, and then we need to use soap and water to wash it off. All right, let me go and help her. back in my room shocker we went to McDonald's <laughs> the kids were having so much fun kind of just hanging out in the rooms today and they also I think went and rested in one of the rooms so we had plans to go f sit down for a nice dinner somewhere and they were just like we're so tired can we just rest some more and then we'll, we want to go to McDonald's so the consensus was McDonald's that's where we went but we've Kind of made a plan for tomorrow, tentatively. Trying to like plan something with a couple different other families. Um, whoops. We tend to, sorry, I'm trying to like, I'm kind of hot. But I don't want to put pajamas on yet because the kids are all going to come home. But I am going to lay down because I'm tired. But we're trying to hang out with a couple of the different families. Um, one, because Abby is friends with the older sister and gets along with her. So she has someone to hang out with. She is actually with her and her mom tonight. They were, are going to go to that little outdoor market that we really want to go to. Um, one of the moms went with her son today and husband, I think, um, and they found like Jord Nike Jordans for like 50 bucks and they're like hundred, hundreds of dollars back in the States. And then she wanted to buy, a, it wasn't a Louis Vuitton bag, it was like another kind of like luxury bag. And it was like $400, but normally it would be a couple thousand dollars, but it had a little tear in it. Anyway, so I really want to, I don't like luxury brands like that, but like she said, it, it has everything and it's a really cool market. So we want to do that too. Um, we want to do the Ferris wheel. We want to do, um, anyway, that's the market Abby is at, is what I was saying. She's going to go over there tonight and walk that for a little bit while Ashley's at practice. And then tomorrow we're hoping to go back there together as a family. We don't have any cheer requirements tomorrow. The camp, the practice was canceled tomorrow night. So it's like our only day as a family and with other families to like do something together because the next two days after that are performance days. So we won't have as much freedom to like go out and like sightsee. So I'm just gonna hang out here in my room and chill. My feet are killing me. Um, I'm not. I don't think I'm getting a ton of steps. I think I'm just um, dehydrated. I'm super dehydrated. Jason took the water bottle. Dang it. And my stupid card is not working at the vending machine. <sighs> I might see if Chelsea has some. No, but she doesn't. I'm, anyway, I have um, my leftover Coke and some ice in here. I'm going to hurry and try and drink this so I can use the ice and just fill up water from the. Oh, I have a bottle of water. I do have some bottled water in there. Okay, let's put it in there. So, I'm just gonna hang out here until they get back from practice. Jason went with them to be the translator. But I think maybe the translator actually showed up today. She wasn't going to, she wasn't feeling well. So, I'm babbling. That's where we're at, at this point in the day. So, see how well their practice goes. They've got to be tired. But I'm hoping that they come back and are actually tired and not hanging out until 11 o'clock tonight like they did last night and actually come home, shower, and go to bed. So I'm hoping they do. We could all use a good night's sleep. Okay, 
Um, if I don't come back to you, stay tuned for next time, but maybe something else will happen before the end of the day.